Welcome to Geography Awareness Week. It's a special week every year, every November, when we think about the importance of geography, not just in school, but in everyday life. Geography really is important to everyday life. When you think about the major issues of our time, of the 21st century, these include things like climate change, biodiversity loss, water, energy, political instability, natural hazards, urbanization. All of these, they have a geographic component, don't they? They all have to do with where, and more importantly, they have to do with the whys of where. So geography is more important than ever. Geography is a very old discipline, but it also has some really exciting career opportunities, and it uses a lot of really cool technology. It's also a green subject. It's a green technology. It has to do with making our world a better place to live for people and for the planet itself. If I were a chemistry teacher, I really wouldn't think to teach chemistry without using things like uh, a laboratory or uh, the periodic table. If I'm teaching geography or if I'm studying geographic concepts, I want to use the latest tools that uh, are available to me. Now, always uh, people have been fascinated by maps. For centuries people have been fascinated by maps. Maps show us a, a kind of detail and a kind of depth and it allows us to use that spatial perspective that we can't really get by just plain text or a chart or a table. Nowadays we can use maps in a geographic information system or GIS. What a GIS allows us to do is layer our world. Think of different map layers in a GIS all stacked on top of each other and the sum total of those is the complexity of the real world around us. Some of these layers could be watersheds and river systems. You could have a layer on soils. You could have a layer on geology. How about a layer on social zones where people feel safe on a campus? How about a layer of population change or a layer on crop types or land use? All of these things could be put into a GIS to analyze our world. There are many ways to think about geography. One of the ways is the five themes of geography. You can think about Mr. Help as a way to remember these five themes. The M is movement. Could be movement of hurricanes, could be movement of people. The R is region. And these aren't just regions of common language or common cultural practice. It could be eco-regions where certain plants and animals tend to cluster. It could be social zones on a campus. That could be a region. The HE part, part is human environment interaction. This is how the environment affects people and how people affect the environment. L is location, where things are located. Latitude, longitude, uh, in terms of a city, what, kind, what part of the community are they in. And the P is place. Yeah, there's place is different from location because my sense of place is unique. Here in Colorado, for example, I'm standing here in November, and there are certain smells in the air, there are certain sounds that I hear, and they're different from every other place. Here in November, the leaves have largely, largely fallen from the trees, for example. So my sense of place is different than if I were standing in another location on the planet. Another way to think about geography is in terms of physical geography and cultural or human geography. Physical geography includes things that are born of natural systems. For example, natural hazards or soil type or geology or climate. 
river systems. Those are all physical geography. Cultural geography or human geography is the human imprint. So these include things like language, uh, the built environment, structures like this barn behind me, uh, and lots of other things. The pattern of cities, the pattern of agriculture, the, the types of buildings that we build, and so on. So there's physical geography and there's also cultural or human geography, and both of these are important components of geography. Geographers really look as, at the world in a holistic way, uh, as a whole. They look at all the different components. Let's spend some time with geographic information systems because geographic information systems will allow us to look at the world in a holistic way. So, I'm glad you've chosen to join me here on Geography Awareness Week and all throughout the year. Remember to keep, keep your eyes open. Uh, keep observing the world around you. It's a fascinating planet, really. It's the only one like it that we know of. And uh, it really is an amazing place. If you can instill that uh, in others around you, I think that you'll be doing your part to help the planet out. Uh, think about that. And get out there and enjoy our planet. Also think about ways to protect our planet. And by doing that, you'll be helping people's lives as well. So happy Geography Awareness Week.